Okay, check this out. I'm gonna crush this can. That didn't work, but that's okay. I don't need muscles because I've got science. So why did that happen? If you and a friend both put your hands up and leaned on each other or pushed on each other, if you had the same amount of force pushing back both ways, you'd stay standing up. If one of you all of a sudden pulled your hands away, the other one would fall down because their force would be far greater than the force that's opposing them, and that's what happened to our can. Well, when this was full, whether it was with air or water vapor, there's things on the inside pushing out on the walls. And at the same time, there's air pressure all around us pushing in on the walls. But what we did is we had water vapor inside, and when we changed the temperature of that vapor, we caused it to shrink rapidly. And when it did that, it removed the pressure from the inside, and so the pressure from the outside was much stronger, and it crushed the can. So first, we take an empty aluminum can, but it's not actually empty because it's full of air. We want to add some hot water. Next, we want to find a piece of tape. And we want to cover up most of the hole with the tape, so there's just a little gap left. Next, we want to expose this to more heat because we want to boil the water. So once we expose it to the heat, it's going to cause that water to boil and turn into steam or water vapor. And when water boils and turns into steam, it expands and it starts to fill up more of the space. And it's going to start to push all the air that was filling this up out of this little hole in the top. Once you see the steam starting to come out of the little hole, we know that it's got most of the air out. And from there, we want to take it quickly, turn it upside down and dunk it into some ice cold water. Now that is how you crush a can with science.